Hello everyone, John here. Welcome along to another video. Now today I thought I would show you how you can learn the notes on the guitar. And I've seen so many videos on YouTube on how to do this and they make it look so complicated. And I guarantee you, this is the easiest way you can do it, all your money back. Now I did this in five days, so um, I'll tell you the story at the end. But for now, let's get into the lesson. And uh, let's start with this. First of all, don't think of the guitar neck as your 22 frets, your 21 frets, or whatever you think about it. The guitar neck is only this big, because these double dots, of course, means that everything repeats uh, on the 12th fret, all right? So first of all, you've only got that much to learn. Second of all, if you know your notes, you'll know E, A, D, G, B, E. All right, so there's two E strings. If you have trouble remembering the notes, uh, you, you can, uh, there's a few ways uh, to do it. Um, you can, this one is quite good. Every afternoon, dad's gas barbecue explodes. So every E afternoon, dad's D gas G barbecue B explodes. All right, so that's a, that's a good little way to do it. So that's easy, that's taken care of that. So. Only that big and you've got two E strings. So this is how you want to learn the strings. Just learn the notes on the dots, all right? And you've got five days to do it. And the first day on the Monday, you're going to learn this. You might want to write this down, okay? So here are the first notes on the dots on the low E string. You've got G, A, D, C sharp, okay? That's it. That's all you do for Monday. You don't need to do anything else. You're just going to walk around G, A, B, C sharp, G, A, B, C sharp, G, A, B, C sharp. It's really boring, but it really works. You don't need your guitar when you go out, when you're standing at the bus stop, G, A, B, C sharp, G, A, B, C sharp. You know, when you're at the shops, G, A, B, C sharp. That's all you're thinking all day. Believe me, you won't, you won't forget it, all right? G, A, B, C sharp. Now, the idea of this, of course, if someone says, oh, play me a, a G sharp, well, if you know that's a G, one up is a G sharp, you know. Anyway, that's all you do. So this system is really just going through every string and memorizing the dots on each string. So Monday, G, A, B, C sharp. What's that note? It's G. Very good, if you were paying attention, G, A, B, C sharp. All right, now just remember the double dots, everything repeats, so it's that's an E, so you don't kind of need to know that, do you? But if you've got that, look, you've got this G, A, B, C sharp there, and then G, A, B, C sharp, G, A, B, C sharp. So that's quite quite easy. Now you've got four ways you can play, you can play that. On Tuesday, you're going to do the next set of strings, which are, is the A string. And the notes on that are C, D, E, F sharp. All right, so Tuesday, you're just going to walk around going C, D, E, F sharp. C, D, E, F sharp. All right, I'm going to go through now and give you all of the strings and the names on the, all the dots. All right, so on the D string on Wednesday, F, G, A, B. All right. Okay, so now we come to Thursday, and you have um, A sharp, C, D, E, A sharp, C, D, E. Then the B string uh, on the last on the Friday is D, E, F sharp, G sharp, right? D, E, F sharp, G sharp. So now that's all you need to do so it's not a big ask it's just one day of remembering it i'll guarantee you'll get it in a week so now here's the thing at the end of the week on the um on on the saturday and and, and sunday you want to try and put things together um and uh what i mean by that is you want to know where all the notes are on every strings. So this takes some thinking about. So you want to set a metronome quite slow, maybe even slower than that at first. And then you get someone to call out a note for you, or you can do one yourself, you know. So let's say G. So imagine two, three, four. So. So 
B. An E. And so on, all right? So the reason you're doing that is because when you're playing, you really don't have time to, you know, work out uh, by shapes. I've seen people do it by shapes. It's not gonna work. If someone's playing a G chord, sorry, and you need to find a G note, you have to know where it is. You don't, you don't have really time for a system of, oh, there's a G, so there's an octave of a G, or oh, there's another octave shape of a G. It's, it's too difficult. You've gotta know where it is. And there is no substitute for hard work. This is an easy system and you can do it in, in five days, as I say, but you still need to do it, you know, all day. G, A, B, C sharp, and you'll never forget it, trust me. Uh, my story was, uh, I went to um, college for guitar and I'd had private lessons for, for a while, you know, and I thought I was pretty good. But the first class I went to, the teacher just had a metronome going. And he, just for an hour, called out a note, you know. And, you know, I was the only one in the class who couldn't do it. It was so embarrassing, you know, because all these, these guys were uh, younger than me and um, I'd been playing longer and they all knew their notes and it, it was a big shock. But it was the best lesson I ever got, or one of the best ones, because I realised I need to do this, you know. It's kind of like... Uh, you know, imagine you were uh, an artist or you saw an artist and, you, and you, you said to the artist, oh, what, what colour is this? And he said to you, well, oh, I don't know, I'm not too sure what colour it is. What would you think? What a crap artist, I'd think. Uh, but it's the same with this. If you're, a, if you're a musician, you don't know the notes on your instrument. That's not very good. But one last thing I'll say just, just before I go is keep it musical. So do exactly uh, what I just said that. Um, you can do that with the metronome. I like doing that. It's a bit of a challenge, you know, picking a note. But if you can, say, pick a chord, any chord you like, and uh, as, as you play, record that and then just play your note over the top. And that way it keeps it, you know, really musical. Okay, so enough talking now. Um, hope that was useful to you. Do let me know how you get on. I'd love to know how, how you get on. I've seen so many systems, but they all seem very, very complex to me. Just do the dots, you know? And so let, let me do one more example. So uh, let's say this first one. Can you remember that first one? G, A, B, C sharp. All right. Okay, so someone says, uh, play me a D. Well, there's a C sharp. D is one up from that. All right. Just before I go, I should tell you the musical alphabet, just in case you're not familiar with that. The musical alphabet is A to G. So A, B, C, D, F, G. Goes back to A again. That's it. A, B, C, D, F, G. But every note has a sharp note, apart from uh, uh, two notes, a B and E. All right. So you can, maybe you can remember no sharps for Bertie or Ernie. That's how I remember it. So what I mean by that, let me give you one last demonstration. Here's an E note, low E. What is that first fret there? It's one up from an E. So you'd think it's an F in it because E doesn't have a sharp. So F, F sharp, G. We know that's on the dot. G sharp, A, A sharp, B. B doesn't have sharp, C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, all right? But learn those dots. It works, it really does work, and it's super easy. You know, five days for the rest of your life is not too much to ask, is it really? Um, anyway, I hope that was useful. Do let me know how you get on. See you in the next video.